Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana, I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up emote walls for your streams. If you don't know what emote walls are, I will show an example of exactly what they are. But basically, when people in chat do emotes into the chat, whatever those emotes are, whether they're custom ones or standard Twitch emotes, it sort of spams the emotes across the screen uh, or with a pre-designed, uh, within a pre-designed area. For example, in one quarter of the screen or over your face or wherever you decide you want to place the emote wall. It's quite a nice thing. They then move around and bounce around the screen. So it's quite a cool little thing to encourage people to chat and to emote wall and to yeah do all kinds of things like that so it's a little bit more interactive and it just means that people in chat can then affect what is on screen emote wall is a widget it's a widget from streamlabs online and that widget is really really easy to set up it's essentially a browser source emote walls are a really good thing just to encourage people to sort of spam their own emotes uh, and also spam certain emotes it's also another way of them kind of portraying the feeling that they have about the different things that you're doing for example if you don't do something really really good in a game they can spam the poggers emote and it'll you, you kind of show that on screen it looks quite cool whereas if you do something really really stupid perhaps you'll get the uh, not like this uh, emote uh, in chat as well so it's kind of another way of uh, viewers being able to engage with you as a streamer as a broadcaster and also just to convey emotion on a more deeper level it's really really easy to set this up so within this video i'll show you exactly how you can set it up how you can tweak it uh, and hopefully how you can make the most of it as well I've done loads and loads of videos on YouTube for Streamlabs, the widgets, the modules that are available from Streamlabs. So if you want to hit the subscribe button, feel free to do so. If you do find this useful as well, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up on the video because it increases the visibility of the video. If you want to ask me any questions about this or any other thing, I stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Feel free to give me a shout, give me a follow, ask me any questions you want. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is to visit streamlabs.com. Essentially, you'll see this menu down the left hand side. To log into streamlabs.com, you can use your email or whatever, but you can also just use your Twitch credentials uh, and that helps it link uh, Twitch to your Streamlabs account anyway. We're actually using here the widgets section under this all widgets section here and I'll show you in a little bit more detail there. So you don't necessarily have to mod Streamlabs for this, whereas within Cloudbot, uh, you do need to mod Streamlabs for anything that is a module here or anything to do with these things here. So it's just a standalone widget. You don't have to use this within Streamlabs OBS. You can use it on Stream Elements or OBS Studio or whatever. Uh, it is purely a browser source. First of all, we're going to configure the emote wall. So once you've logged in at streamlabs.com using your Twitch credentials, uh, this also applies to YouTube gaming as well. All we're going to do is navigate to all widgets and click on the emote wall widget here. This will take you to the configuration screen from here essentially the widget URL is the browser source that we would copy in as a browser source on Streamlabs OBS or on OBS or wherever you want to paste this in for example if you use XSplit or whatever so that's the URL that we would copy but before we do that let's just configure the actual emote wall in itself so here's a demo of what it looks like in line with the configuration that you've chosen. I'll just show you very quickly what this looks like on stream so you can see exactly what I'm talking about very briefly this is my friend, uh, The Real Jam Jar. Feel free to check him out. And if you do check him out, let him know that you've come from my video. <laughs> I've got this emote here. This It's the stupid girth emote. Um, it's quite well known on my channel and other people have been using it on his channel. So you, you love to see it. You love to see it. There you go. People are spamming my emotes in his chat and you can see that it's... I think he's actually complaining also about my emotes being in his chat. It's just a stupid joke that we've got between us. But that's exactly what it looks like. And then we've actually got some of his emotes as well, which is pretty cool. Now, he's actually sized that to be full screen. And that's why the emotes are quite big. But you can resize it to be a lot smaller on a certain section on your stream if you want to do that. It doesn't have to be full screen. There are different ways you can use this uh, depending on your own personal preferences. So all we're going to do here, once we've clicked into the widgets function, first of all, we want to enable it because you can disable it if you want to. The emote duration, this just uh, spawns emotes. Uh, for a certain amount of time as we can see here it'll be for five seconds it goes all the way up to 60 seconds if we wanted to and they would stick around for 60 seconds it's quite a long time i probably wouldn't recommend 60 seconds to be quite honest i'm just going to leave it on six uh, on five seconds but it's completely personal preference you can even have it for as short as one second although i would argue having it just one second is kind of pointless as well to be honest <laughs> then we've got the emote scale and all this does is just change the size of the emote so if we can put it at 10 times the scale of the emotes it's actually not showing up in the preview which is kind of frustrating uh, so we'll just leave Leave it at the, I don't know, let's say five times. But this is the size of the emotes on screen. The thing is here, you can actually adjust the size of the emotes anyway, or the canvas 
that it covers, which then changes the size of the emotes. So although you've got control here of the size of the individual emotes, the scale of them, you can also help scale that by increasing the size of the canvas area that it covers, which I'll show later on in the video. Combos required. Um, at the moment, I've got this toggled off. An emote will spawn each time it is seen in chat. So every single time it's seen in chat, it will spawn. Here we've got a situation where if, a, if you toggle this on, you can choose whether you want emotes only when they've been spammed a certain amount of times, will they appear. If an emote is done three times within a 10 second period, then it will show on the emote wall. And you can go all the way up to 100 times, which is quite extreme, uh, and as low as two. And the settings here on the time frame, you can go within a one second time frame or a 60 second time frame. I'm going to go ahead and actually just disable that and say any emotes at all in chat can be displayed and then ignore duplicates so um you can choose to have it so that if an emote is spammed numerous times in one chat it will just show one emote on the page uh if you if you actually toggle this off it will actually accept all emotes and all of those emotes that are in the chat message will be shown on screen there could be like 50 or 60 of the same emotes on screen depending on how many emotes are being used and then if multiple messages are the same emotes then there can be literally hundreds of emotes uh, potentially. So I'm actually going to turn ignore duplicates off because uh, I think it looks cooler when there's a splash of the same emotes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save settings there. This is now actually configured to my liking but again it's all personal preferences. Make sure that it is toggled on like this and I'm now going to copy the browser source. So we can preview this by clicking the launch button here. Allow us if I now type in chat an emote numerous times and press enter it shows a preview of what we've actually got here. Now off screen I'm going to spam numerous emotes uh, after I launch this and now because I'm putting ignore duplicates on there it'll only do the emote once so I've actually done lots of different emotes here I'll just just to show you off screen here that's what it looks like when you spam uh, ignore duplicates so once we're happy with all the settings you can save the settings click copy and that's now on your clipboard you get a confirmation in the top right hand corner here now we get to the bit where we're in Streamlabs OBS or your streaming software Browser sources, they're added in different ways across the different softwares, but they say they follow the same principle. Uh, they're normally called sources, um, and you normally are clicking the plus button here within the source, within the given scene that you want it to appear within. So this is Streamlabs OBS. It's interesting actually here because normally all of the widgets are pulled into this area, but the emote wall isn't there as an option. Uh, every other <laughs> widget is there. And I think the reason for that is because it's a new widget in beta all these are the widgets for example alert box or media share or view counter you'll see media share is here alert box is here view counter here the emote wall is not there <laughs> so there's actually only one way to add it for now uh, i'm sure they will change that they always do once it's not in beta anymore they'll add that as a, as a widget here i'm sure so instead what we're going to do we're going to add a browser source so just to show this the push button to add a source we're going to add a browser source click add source here we want to go ahead and click add new here toggle this add new we want to name it uh emote wall test we'll add that source what will happen here is you get a placeholder image this is just the browser source placeholder image from streamlabs don't worry about that just for now but it just shows that the browser source will be there it's appeared on this scene we want to paste the url uh make, making sure that you keep the string at the back end of that url uh, secret because that holds key information to your stream you can adjust the, the width and the height here if you've got a specific width, width and height but don't worry about that, about that too much news custom frame rates control audio via obs if you want uh, different things like that Th these are all the normal settings you can have for any browser source we're just going to go ahead and click done on that and now we've got the emote wall there so just to show that this is actually working now i'm going to just pop out my chat to test it i'm going to paste in the emote multiple times like that and we can see that it's appearing there. Now that in itself looks quite nice. If I wanted, I could put that over my face. Test it again, and it works pretty well. But what you may want to do just as well is you just might want to like expand it and resize that. So if I now just size that a lot bigger and test it again with loads of emotes, you can see it's resized them to be full screen. And that now works. You can add that source onto multiple scenes, and you can also hide the source using this button here. And just to illustrate that it's hidden, I press enter there and they're not appearing now. And that is literally it. We've added emote wall in a matter of a couple of minutes there by configuring it, copying the widget URL, adding adding it as a browser source on the stream. The same process would apply for OBS, XSplit, uh, all the different uh, streaming softwares that you get. And this is now a really nice, easy addition to your stream that you can use.
Me personally, I'm not actually a huge fan of the emote wall. The main reason for that is because I quite like to take content from my Twitch stream and put them within YouTube videos and things like that. And I wouldn't want that to be spoiled by emotes spamming. Uh, but that's just completely personal preference. Hopefully you guys have found this useful. If you have, please do thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. By all means, check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. And have a wonderful day. Take care.